With those higher gas prices, a lot of drivers are trading in four wheels for two. Have you seen more of these on the road lately? Well, we have two. And maybe a $10 fill up the last more than a week is the reason why. Tired of stopping here? My Lincoln Navigator gets about 12 miles to the gallon. Dean Prevet was two. Cost me about close to $80 to fill up the Navigator. But only 10 bucks to fill up his scooter. This thing on a good day will get close to 70. 70 miles a gallon, and his is one with a larger engine. Even at premium prices at five bucks, I can still afford that. After a month or two, they almost look at their car like it's the devil. These days, Steve Spears' Vespa of Charlotte is a busy place. This year, we're at 365% growth. Scootering has been now accepted as a formal mode of transportation. You can see gas mileage. At around 100 miles to the gallon. Yes, you heard him correctly. On a smaller scooter like this one, Spears says you can beat Prevet's mileage and go 100 miles on one gallon of gas. The emissions are extremely low. Ranging in price from $1,200 to $9,000. Dean Prevet on his black and tanned Vespa knows he's still on the cutting edge. But if these numbers keep changing, that may not be the case for long. Prices continue to rise. People are going to look for alternatives. And in case you're wondering, on the smaller scooters with a 50cc engine, you can only go 30 miles an hour by law. Now, the larger ones, like you saw there that Mr. Prevett was riding, you need a motorcycle license, but you can go as fast as 80.